DACA is obviously the deferred action for childhood arrivals. Um, it is a, a way that the government gave children whose parents migrated with them um, an opportunity because technically they didn't commit a crime. So they give you this social so that you could work and do your taxes without needing the I-10 number, uh, protect you from deportation. In June of 2012. Effective immediately. The Department of Homeland Security is taking steps to lift the shadow of deportation from these young people. If you were either in high school or had a high school diploma, and if you had either no criminal record or like a teeny tiny misdemeanor, then you could apply for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA program. Basically, a permit that protects you from getting deported and allows you to work legally in the U.S. I used to have a lot of trouble saying that I was a dreamer and a DACA student just because I felt like I was going to be isolated and or looked down upon. A lot of the stigmas that um, we have as being DACA students is that um, we're just finding an easy way to get citizenship and that's not it. Like I'm aware that we have to go through a legal process and a lot of people are waiting to get citizenship. Um, but the thing is, I was brought here when I was four years old. I know nothing about Mexico. Like I don't know how I would feel going back to Mexico and having to start my life over when this is all I have known for all of my life. I mean, these are kids who were brought here by their parents. They did nothing wrong. They've gone to school. They have pledged allegiance to the flag. Some of them have joined the military. They've enrolled in school. By definition, if they're part of this program, uh, they are solid, uh, wonderful young people of good character. I don't remember anything from Mexico because that's where I'm from. My family migrated when I was like a year old, like a year and three months maybe. So I don't remember anything from Juarez. It will be devastating for them to be sent back uh, because many of them will go back just to to get killed, as we have seen for some some people who who were refugees. When there is no opportunity in your country and you see your family dying because of, of hunger, you do whatever you you can to to take your your family to safety. So I was aware I was undocumented from a really young age because of the conversations that we would have at dinner. My dad always talked about immigrant and like ICE and all that, the fears of it, right? And the complications of being an immigrant here. Um, so I knew I was like not from this country. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. And I'm not able to go to Mexico and visit my family that I haven't seen in a while and um, you know like stuff that you hear on the news about even students that have DACA getting deported or being detained by ICE that's super scary because um, we are deferred from deportation so it just gets scary when people talk about politics and Trump closing the wall and all the stuff that is going on in our world right now it just gets it touches a little bit more to home um, so yeah I'm unable to travel um, and I'm here just as a resident and I have to renew my DACA every two years Good morning. Well, the president is expected to gradually wind down DACA, but not immediately rescind permits or deport their recipients. Instead, he'll urge Congress to craft new laws, which begins yet another public fight over whether young undocumented immigrants should get legal protections. A main struggle that I face every day is that I don't know when I'm going to wake up and hear the news about maybe like cancellation or a termination, well, or terminations. So I never know what's gonna happen to to my status. It's always something that's debated. And what, when the new president comes on board, they have the power to um, either terminate it or make it better or continue it. So it's definitely something that's out of my control. I think one, one of my students came in, um, he was having issues with professors not giving them an extension. Um, this, this student missed a final exam 
and was very mortified by it. Um, we had a conversation and the reason that he gave me was that her parents were placed in, um, they were either going to be deported, I believe, or they were in the detention center, and he had to go and sign for uh, custody of his little sister. Um, and that's the reason why he missed the, the final exam. I really value this country. Um, it has given me and my parents a home. And now my little sister, she's a citizen, so she, if we were to get deported, she would be here alone with no family, literally. Um, so for me, in order to protect my family and in order to protect my education and my dreams, I got married <laughs> at 18 with someone that I thought I loved. Um, and we even went about the whole residence with lawyers and meeting with them and everything, investing $6,000 on it. But I started to notice how I was in an emotionally abusive relationship. And I remember just being really like depressed and unhappy with the marriage, just because everything had changed. All of a sudden, this person felt like he could keep me around and he would bash me about, you're only with me for the papers which that wasn't true because he was the one who suggested it. Um, so then I decided to end everything and end the residence. And I told him, you know what, I don't need you at all. I will make my dreams come true even if, even if that means living in Mexico <laughs> um, without anything, I'll make it on my own. So I divorced him and I ended everything um, and now I'm much happier but especially because now DACA is back on so now thankfully I'm able to continue everything without any complications. I think just having that path to citizenship is important. Um, they already know that they're Americans. They they feel like they are Americans, they are Americans in, in most ways except for not being born here. Um, and in my conversations with them, they always want to give back to the community. They want to be nurses, they want to be doctors and teachers because they want to give back to their community, do something good for our country. I even have uh, students who come and see me, they want to join the, the army, the navy, and they can't because they don't have a, a status. So they, they also want to serve their country. Um, and, but they have that limitation there just because they were not born here. I will immediately terminate President Obama's illegal executive order on immigration. It really bothers me when people call me an illegal alien because they are dehumanizing me even though I am a human and we're all human and we all live in the same earth. So by calling me an alien, you're like dehumanizing me and basically like making me feel like I'm from Mars. You know, being from America is not everything, so why should I be called an alien? I understand that I um, wasn't in the country legally, now I am, thank you to DACA, but calling anybody an alien just makes you feel like you're not part of something or you're an outsider and that's, I feel like that word, those words put together is kind of demeaning and um, we're fighting for what we want in the future. I'm here working um, in order to get my education. We're all, for example, there's people that say that we're here to take scholarships or to get into school for free, um, yet there's a small pool of scholarships that are available to undocumented and DACA students um, that we're allowed to apply for that are just for us. Um, and I think that I I don't really take offense to it, but it is kind of hard to hear that people think that we're trying to take away from this country when all we're trying to do is contribute. Um, I think our immigration policies need to change. Um, the before DACA and the after DACA. Before DACA, students have no, no way of uh, working. After DACA happened, we, we saw all these students coming um, into the university and being able to, to get jobs, which is important to note that um, only hourly positions, not anything that is funded by our study, uh, because that is federal and they don't get any federal aid um, at all. The best thing would be a path to citizenship, but if not, at least a path to legal status so that they don't have to be renewing and that it doesn't have as, as much limitations as um, DACA has. Um, but I have learned 
to love my immigration status, to love that I'm a DACA student, and I'm not afraid to tell anybody that I'm a dreamer. I'm so grateful for everybody around me and for those who support a Clean Dream Act and DACA um, and know the amazing people that really do have this great opportunity that is given to us. The deferred Action Program that we have, known as DACA, that relates to dreamers who are currently benefiting from uh, these provisions. We're dreamers for a reason. We want the American dream as well. Um, and we're not here to just have it given to us. We're here to fight for it. And that's why we're so persistent about a Clean Dream Act and also want to just give back to our communities um, and do things the right way. Just remember the foundation of this country, not the founding fathers, or even them actually, because they were immigrants. Um, so immigration will always be something that you have, and if you see it as a problem, then you're always going to see it as a problem because it's something that will never stop. I'm so grateful for everybody around me and for those who support a Clean Dream Act and DACA um, and know the amazing people that really do have this great opportunity that is given to us. You also need to remember that a lot of immigrants have been here for so long that this country has been their home and they have given birth to citizens so you just can't separate families like that anymore. And I think DACA students have proved the government right. We are productive, we are going to school, and we're working. So I think it's time now for a change in an immigration policy where maybe you can legalize all of us.